Hello, hello. So today, I'm going to be writing a compiler, or at least starting it. Um, so I don't know a whole lot about it, but basically what I know, um, in case you are not familiar, basically there's three main parts of it. So you have the lexer, right? Um, lexer. Uh, and then it goes to the parser, and then uh, code generator. So the lexer, or tokenizer, as it can be called, basically takes the characters that you write and converts it into certain tokens so that the uh, next part, the parser, goes through the tokens that you generate um, <clears throat> and it makes sure they work, make sure they work syntactically. I just messed that up. Uh, basically that the grammar of the language is right. Um, so that you can't just use something like x plus y equals 3. Like um, you have to do equals equals 3. Something like that. Um, and then it also evaluates expressions like 1 plus 2, right? Uh, and then the code generator takes everything from the parser and then it turns it to assembly, which then the assembly gets uh, assembled into machine code. But I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just writing the compiler part, not the assembly. Um, there is other parts to it too, like optimizers and stuff, so that the code is better, but I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, just these simple parts is enough to make a basic language. So, the name for my language, I have decided, will be unnamed len. Um, because I couldn't come up with a name. And so, we'll just have a test file, unn, that'll be like the extension. I don't know if it's used for something else, but yeah. And then we also need may.c and build.sh. Alright, um, I'll use gcc. Uh, I'll enable warnings. All right. So now, uh, let's open the may not see file. So, I'm gonna sort of work through how to do this. I'm not super familiar with all this. It's kind of just a, gonna be a learning experience for me. So, yeah. Uh, so I'm not gonna do everything right. Um, this is gonna be some messy stuff, but. I think that's okay. Uh, yeah. So I'll just make sure everything's working. Alright, and then let's build it. <coughs> Whoops. Alright, everything's working. So, what we're gonna need tokens, right? So, let's see. Enum. Uh, so there's a few different kinds of tokens that we're gonna need. So right now, we're going to have a keyword, separators, and then we'll also have a literal, which can be a sign. But the keyword and separators are constant. Uh, so actually, let me go ahead and open up, open up the test file. And basically, the first thing we're going to be trying to do is exit one. So exiting with an error code, basically. Um, that's going to be the start. So this is what... Today, I'm going to try to get the parts are mostly done, basically where we can turn this into, we have a keyword, which is the exit, and then we have the separator, which is going to be the uh, parentheses, and then we have a literal, which is the integer that is in here. So those are the, whoops, all right, that's what we're going to need. So if we start, um, we'll need a token type literal, all right? So for now, we'll just have int, but there will be like float and stuff like that in here. And then we'll also have token type keyword, uh, which for now will just be exit. And then we'll have token type, uh, what's it called, separator. Uh, and that's going to have semicolon, and then also open parentheses, whoops, and close parentheses. Alright, now we'll need, now we'll need some structs. So, so I think we'll have token keyword, and then I'll just copy this, and then paste, paste, alright. Token keyword, this will be token 
uh, literal graph semicolon. And then we'll have the last one is token set. There might be a better way to do it all in one struct, but I'm not exactly sure how to do that. So I'll just do it like this. Uh, and then for the keyword, we'll just have token type keyword. Maybe we just need to say type instead of token type. That might make it look a little cleaner. All right, type, keyword, and we'll call it type. And then literal, actually, I'll put that one last. So I'll go ahead and put it in there. All right, and then separator, we'll have type separator, and then type again. And then token literal. There we go. Um, and that will have type literal, Type. and then for now we're gonna have the value just be set to an int but we'll change that later when we need more values um now let's make sure it's working so we'll just make a token literal we'll just call it token and then we'll do token dot type equals int token dot value equals five and let's just print the value here Uh, token not value. All right, let's make sure that works. All right, seems to be working. So now we can get rid of this because we don't need those. And then we're gonna want to open the file. So f open. Uh, let's see. Test dot. So we'll take the user input later. I'll get that working later. And then let's see. Um. Well. I'll separate this out into a different function, but I just want to get it working first. So, uh, current equals gets. I think that is it. File. And then while current does not equal end of file, we'll print f. We'll just print the character current. Actually, we don't need the new one. And then we'll do f current equals. All right, let's, let's see, all right. What else do we have to, here, I had this, let's see here. I had this open earlier. Oh, yes, have to provide, right, there we go. Let's see, all right, let's see. All right, we're printing everything from the file. So now we can pass this into the lexer function. So let's go ahead and create that. Um, so we're going to return, actually, I think I'll make a general, general token struct. And then, oh shoot, I don't know if that's going to work, actually. Let's see, um, I'll make it void for now and I'll fix that later. Uh, so let's see. So we are gonna take we'll just take the file 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 um yes and then we'll basically do what we're doing here so current call it current care close f get c file and while current does not equal end of file let's see here yeah we'll just do exactly what we're doing here then current, there we go, and current equals f get c five. All right, now we just remove all of this. Then we'll run lexo five, and let's see. Whoops. Yeah, I just call this code. All right, and there we go. All right, now we've separated it into a different file. So what we need to do is check each character. Uh, so we'll start with something pretty easy. We'll just start by checking if current equals semicolon. Then let's just print f found semicolon. And then we'll, all right, let's see. Let's 
see what that does. Uh, okay. Wait, can I do... Let's see. Can I do this and then do current plus plus? I don't know if this will work. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out a different way to do that because I don't think this is the best way to be going about doing this. But we'll figure it out after. All right, let's let's just see this. All right, found a semicolon. So now, else if current equals open bracket, then we'll just print out found open or open prevent parenthesis. And then else if current equals close parentheses, then um, close parentheses. All right, and now it should print one of each of those. Okay, now let's see. So we need to be able to check if it is new a number. So I don't know if there's a built-in thing to do that, or if we'll have to just iterate through. Uh, see to check if character is none. None or letter. Mm. Alright, is alpha is in alright, let's see. Is digit and is alpha. Alright, that could be rather use for, useful for us. All right. Um, yes. So now we'll do else if current. Let's see how do. We, all right. Is digit is digit current. All right. Let's see if this works. And digit and then. Okay. All right. Let's see. Found digit forty nine. Uh. Whoops. That is not the digit that we should have in there. Yes, it is a 1, not a 49. Oh, it's because we're printing it. Yes, okay, so that's the ASCII represent. So we want to convert it to just an integer. Let's see. C convert character to int. Alright, okay, I think we, we can just cast it. Uh, let's make this. No. Um, let's see. Confer, um, numeric character to it. Oh, okay, just minus it. Minus. Then, yes, alright, so that works, and let's just, let's make sure it works with a different value, so. I don't think it's going to work, it's going to be two separate ones, yes. So that is something that we should work on, so if we find it, and if the next one is also an integer, then we're going to want to make it a part of that as well, because obviously it's going to be the same. So we'll change back to one, and we'll... We'll get to that. Now, um, else if, uh, what was it? Is alpha, yeah, is alpha, is alpha current, then found character current. All right, and then it should, yes. All right, so we'll, we're also gonna wanna do the same thing with these because we're gonna 
want to go until it's a white space or anything that is not a regular like anything that's not another identifier like a parenthesis so we're gonna wanna basically start with E you see E so then we'll say alright what's the next one and then the next one is X so then what's the next one what's the next one and then the next one oh it's a bracket or a parenthesis so we're gonna wanna stop and then this is the value of it or then we know that it is gonna be an exit okay so let's make a separate function for that. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think we're back. Sorry about that. My internet went out. Um, so I was just testing this. So this isn't gonna work because we're just getting the character and not the whole file at the same time. So I'm gonna have to change how we get um, how we get the information because we're using f get c which get, just gets a single character um so let's just do c read file to string because that's what we want to do really we want to read it to a string but just one character from the string at a time let's see link Let's see. Every. All right, well, let's, let's see. So if I do f get c, let's see if get current equals f get c. I. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna have to change it, but let's just see if we can get something working. Can I spell it right? All right. Um, one. Let's see. Um, yeah, and then. And it does that and it gets to end the file. Uh, if if current does not equal uh, actually if not is digit current then we'll just return. Then okay. Yeah so now if we exit 12 there we go. All right, print one, two, uh, and then let's print it without. Okay, so that is good. So now let's do this actually. Actually, we're gonna need that too. Then we'll also check ball is digit train and current is not end of file because it could be like that and then it ends and then we would just try to keep reading and that would be a problem so I'll leave like that for now for testing um so now we're going to want to generate the token so let's actually do break instead and then let's do token literal token 
and then we'll do so what this way we should be able to check if it's got like a dot in it so then we'll know it's a decimal so we'll know that the type will be but for now we'll just do token not type equals it because that's all we have right now and then after all this actually let's see we'll also want an int um value and we'll start at zero and then we'll do while it is is digit we'll do value plus equals uh the int current minus zero and then we should be able to do token dot value equals value and then we'll actually make this a token literal that's what we'll return and we'll return token all right we didn't get any errors uh it's not gonna let's actually we can't really print that let's do token literal equals uh test token equals that and then we'll just print test token uh, value and we'll do test token dot value. Alright, let's go ahead and run this. Test token value is three. Okay. Yes, that is not good actually because I did that wrong. So I just am adding that. That's not what we want to do. So we want to You might want to actually make it a string. Let's do that. Okay. Value equals melic size of k times eight. Uh, and we'll also want to free it though. And then we'll do. Gotta use it. Actually, you can leave this as in. We'll do in value index equals zero. Value value index. Value index plus. plus. Okay. Um. Equals. Actually, you can leave it. Just equals current. And then int value minus zero. And then let's see, alright, we got some problem. Ooh, okay. Because this is a string, so that's not gonna we'll set it as a string for now. And that's not a that is something that we should be able to easily change. Let's let's see. Okay, because now we're printing this. We're printing it as a string. All right. So we did break stuff. That's okay. Let's see. Um, could be because of that. Let's make this a pointer. Type token value. Want to return and just return. Um and then test token value. Okay, um Token was declared here. Ooh, okay, because we need to allocate. Type of token literal. Okay. Now still does not work, but that's probably a better better practice. Uh 
Okay. Okay, um... Alright, let's print it there. Yeah, we gotta do that. Okay. Okay, so I think the problem comes when we free the value. Yes, okay. But we still want to free it. Can we do free token? Okay. Um, so this might have a memory leak, but I'm just gonna not worry about that for right now because this is now working so good. okay um all right so test token value is 12 so now we have the token generated for the integer so now we have to do basically just the same thing for the character but it's going to be a bit more complicated because we have to check if it's certain other uh, token types, like uh, parentheses. So let's do token keyword. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, generate keyword. I right, so I don't think we need to use file. Do we ever use it? Yeah, no. We don't need to pass that. Whoops. Let me just make sure nothing's gray. Actually, the other stuff's gonna break because I have this. Oh, yes, we do need file. My bad. Okay, now we can do this again. So token keyword generate keyword. Uh, we need character and file. Gotta spell it. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing here. We'll do token keyword token token keyword. There we go. And token we won't do the token type yet because it's gonna be a bit different uh let's see and we don't have a value so we don't know about that so wall is alpha current and it is not in the file um so we'll do the same thing we did here um let's see Uh, keyword. keyword. So since this will be our keyword, um, eventually though, when we have like um, uh, variables, we're gonna be able to do something like int uh, x equals y, right? We're going to look, and we're going to know that this is, we're going to see that this is uh, alpha, alpha, not alpha, just alpha, and then we'll pass it into here, and we're not going to be generating a keyword one, but it's going to be a different thing, but not going to worry about that right now, just like everything else, just going to push it on. Um, but we're checking this, and then 
we're gonna basically keyword index then keyword keyword index equals current and then we'll do current equals all right and then at the end token if current equals um, exit so we'll, we'll just handle that thing not in Python uh, then we'll do token uh, type equals exit then we'll return token Uh, there we go. And I don't need to do this. Either. All right. So we need obviously air handling and a lot of other things. Let's see here. Keyword. Ooh, yes. We want to check if the keyword is that. Okay. Whoops. Wait. Hang on. Um. Let's actually do a for loop. Oh, thanks for following. Uh, Falcon Punch Kid. Nice name. All right. Um. Well, zero. While well, I is less than keyword index. I plus that. And then. <clears throat> let's see. So. Gotta think about this for a second. So we're just um, let's see. Um, so we want to compare this, not in the way that I'm doing. Uh. Let's see. This isn't going to work, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right. Um, let's work through some of these errors and warnings. Uh, unused parameter character. Whoops, this is supposed to be current. All right, that's a problem that we have. We'll get to that. Um, undeclared. It's not the same. Ooh, okay. We know how how big each keyword's gonna be though. For right now it's just four. But it is gonna be different. Alright, um keyword index. Ooh, okay, because I didn't semi -click. What is all right? This is the only thing that we have now. Generate keyword. All right, so it's just comparing this does not work. Um, so we need to change how we go about doing that. Do care keyword stir. And we'll do index and let's see keyword sir i equals keyword i. This might be not the best way to do it, but I think something like that. Uh, let's just do uh, C compare string stir con. Okay, so yeah, we need to use. I think we need to include that too. Mm -hmm. 
Alright. Keyword and next. Let's see if that works. Okay. Let's actually give it a, this. And we don't have warnings. Doesn't really mean anything in C though. Big brain. Yes, very big brain. Small brain, really, but alright, um So now let's actually print the type that we get. Actually we never call this function. So I don't know if anything's actually working. I'm only making a UI framework from scratch. Compiler is too much for me. Oh nice, a UI framework. That's pretty cool. What are you using C or To be honest, C++, nice. Um, to be honest, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of just making it up as I go. So yeah. So let's do token keyword equals or test token test keyword. Generate keyword current file. So let's see if all of this breaks. Um, Your framework has seen many rewrites already. Made something. Found it was inefficient. Yep, that's what happens. Is it on GitHub or is it just like a private, private thing? All right, it's not used. That's okay. All right, and then. All right, so we did break something. Yes. Okay. Because we need. Private until I have a stable release. All right, very cool though. Good luck with that. So the problem is that we whoops didn't mean to do that. The problem I know what it is. We're looking, and then this is also a character that would be valid for the is alpha function, and then um, then it just keeps going, and then it sees that it's not in the twelve work. So let's do. Okay, let me run that again. Yeah, it's weird though that it. That it does the close parentheses too. Let's see. Actually, I want to print to make sure this works. Alright, so that does work. So it does recognize that. Okay, um. So maybe I'm building my UI framework so that it's able to run on my super slow laptop too. That it so that's that's pretty cool. So it's like a pretty lightweight framework then. All right, so that's actually not the problem. So it's something else in here. It doesn't continue. Yes, it won't be very fancy, it just has to work and be fast. That's all that really matters. A lot of things get fancy, right? And then it's just a bunch of complicated stuff. Um, unnecessarily complicated. Windows Forms Graphics. So that's like the built-in graphics to Windows. Very nice. And I'm going to actually pull this up. But Windows Forms is slow. 
everything on Windows is pretty slow. I don't know a whole lot about um, like graphics development, UI stuff. Getting kind of distracted here. Um, yeah. Didn't want to use the built in stuff, so I am recreating it. That's, that's a good, like, a lot of things like don't reinvent the wheel, but usually it's worth it, even if it's not as efficient, even necessarily. But you can learn so much from that that. In your future projects it'll help you out so much that it's worth it just because you know how to do it at a low level now you know like i'm building well i just started this but i'm building a programming language right um and that's just ju really it's really just for learning i'm not planning on ever actually using it for anything um except just like to test stuff but yeah Reinvented the wheel because I was so tired of how slow their stuff was that I don't trust them anymore. Yeah, well, I wouldn't trust. I don't. Never really trusted Microsoft. All right, let's see. Getting distracted. That's a very cool thing, though. Uh, I don't remember where I was at. All right, E. Let's print the character. Let's see. Okay. E E one. All right. Yes. Plus, learning new things yourself is more satisfying in the end, anyway. In my opinion, nothing better than going level. Level. That is true. Yes. Very satisfying. Okay. There we go. All right. Um. So it's kind of just, dang, I did it again. It's kind of just uh, eating the parentheses. Um, it's kind of weird, actually. Not sure why it's doing that. But as of right now, there's absolutely no performance issues. That's good. Gonna find a bunch, though. That's what happened. Okay, um... Let's see. I'm not using Python, so I got some leeway. Yes. Python. Python is nice for some things, but uh, building, building actual applications, not really one of them usually. Okay, um, let me actually include token, token T, okay. On my UI elements, we'll use the same system, so it can't go totally wrong. Very nice. Okay, uh, let me work through what we have going on here. So far, just the button and group. Group box. We well, gotta, gotta start somewhere. Whoops, my stream is unstable. My connection actually went out before. Probably gonna do it again, because it likes to do that. Um, some other helper functions later for later very nice do you have a name for it for your library or not yet uh let's see 
Um. I was planning to only use the framework for my own applications and not for public usage. All right, well, that's pretty cool. So then you, yeah, you can make some applications because public usage requires me to write a good wiki or documentation. Well, that can be useful to write even if it's not public, just for you in the future to remember. And if it's open source, if you open source it, um, like obviously if you don't want to do that, that's fine. But if you were to do that, then and it got some traction could be documented by the community as well but yeah I mean I understand I understand what you mean all right let's see Open source it because antivirus is picking up on it. And if I don't open source it, then it won't be trusted. Like the built in Windows antivirus? Okay, I messed up the keyword in there. Oh, I never. Okay, this is probably part of the problem. Okay, there we go. That. Let's should help something. Let's see where we're at now. Okay, it's still not working, but Windows security. Yeah. Okay, um. To make an exception to the program for my laptop to run. That's the thing by using Windows. When you're developing your own stuff, you gotta kind of. I did some stuff on Windows when I was using it for, uh, and yeah, I had to do do workarounds and stuff like that. Um. Okay. Current pairs. Alright, there is a white space character. Uh, I'm not sure. There is no white space here. So I don't know why that is. I will have to figure that out. Um, any weird crashes? Well, a lot of times there are weird crashes in C++. Or C. Um even like just because of the nature of the language but yeah I know what you mean okay um so I don't think the String comparison is working properly. You once had a crash because I made it. You will have said it equal equal by accident and it failed my note check. Yep. That's what happens. Uh, actually, this is not what I want. See, uh, compare strings. Yes, that's what I'm using now. Alright, 
be actually okay. Pointers, yeah. Yes. They are very helpful. And the low lever, like, yeah, take the good with the bad. It, there's a, some trade offs you have to make, like crashes and many things like that. But then the advantages in, like, speed and everything, it does make it worth it. Sometimes. Okay, um. Let me do that. Whoops. Okay. Whoops. Yeah, for me, especially when the entire goal of my program is to run fast as possible on my laptop using as few resources as possible. Yes, that is. And things like um, embedded systems, like when you have a drone or whatever, and you need to be very precise, then, yeah, something like C, C++, or even Rust um, can be very helpful. Okay. So let's see. So that is working. It, it, the keyword is exit. But then it doesn't doesn't continue properly. Let's see. Got a lot of stuff going on here now. I can get rid of that. So that Okay, um, test keyword is not you. Yes. Test keyword type equals exit. Alright, yes, it is assigning the type properly. Let me try that. I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, no. Um Okay, uh, yes, that's not the problem. Don't quite understand what the problem is. But when we comment this out, don't need that anymore. When we comment it, it 
and we still find the open parentheses. Let's see. Uh, it's probably something very obvious that I'm missing. Let's actually. Can we do this and then something like that? And pass this instead. So let me try something here. Um, let's undo everything that I just did. Alright, let's make sure it's working how it was. Yes, okay. Now what if I do... And then I'll just... Yes, all right, so that breaks in. What happens when I do it just once? Yeah, let's print an F curve. Yeah, so it just skips over this. Realize it, it's E. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so the problem is it's going over what we want it to go to. So that's the problem with using the F get C that we were using. So let's see. F read. Let's actually go ahead and exit out of here. And let me make a test.c file. Alright, and then we'll test out this and see how this works exactly. Enter zero. Whoops, this is a directory. Whoops, whoops, I didn't make it. Okay. My bad. Alright. Um file. File. And then we want a buffer. Make it. Equals F open. Uh, we don't want to write F seek. I think 
we need to do that. That's just if you're writing, right? What if we read one character at a time? Let's see. Um. Okay, and then we'll all right, let's just compile this. Not make um whoops. Yeah, I wanna compile the test. Okay, forgot a semicolon. Whoops, this is file. Okay, now G. So where does G come from? No G, so I don't know what the G is. Uh, let's make this one. Okay. Um. Let's try the F C. Okay, uh, and it's reading somewhere outside of where we want it to be. So that is a problem. So how do we do it if we don't know how much? Let's see. F read. I'm gonna be able to read it just into a string. Two string. Okay, let's see. STD lib. That's a good idea. Fine. Alright, let's see. Next. Still doesn't work, but that is probably something that I did wrong. Let's just check if 
night file then add air could not Let's make sure that's not what the problem is. That isn't the problem. Let's print the length. Length is 10, so I think. Alright, 9, 10. Yeah, alright. So there's just some extra. Because of the end, right? The end of file. Um, F read buffer one nine five. Chain you like um I think it says a string actually. Okay. Okay, that is good actually. So it has a new line in it. Okay. So then if we do ball buffer Doing that, that's good. Then uh, print F, print it all with a new line curve. Okay, kind of. Oh, thanks for following, uh, Raphael Ten Alexandre. Alexandre, not sure. Probably messed that up a little, but that's okay. Um, 
maybe I just need a character. No. Let's see, and then current zero. Yes, okay. There we go. Okay, still doesn't work. Okay, there is the extra space. I don't understand why it generates that, but that's not really a problem in the compiler because you just ignore white space anyway. So I'll just ignore that for now. So now we can just use this to open instead of the F open C, I think we're using before. Open that C, open that. And let's change this up a bit. <clears throat> then we're gonna have to change the whole code, but it's not too much yet. So that's not big deal. So, see, I have it here. So, here we get the length. Let's actually do that down here. Okay. And in the length. Long length, um, Let's see, so length. Yeah, so we want to FC file the end. Zero C end, yeah. Then we want to do length equals FTEL F. Yes. Five. Because that's getting the last character of the file. Um, so that's how long it's going to be. And then I'm going to go back to the beginning. Okay, and then, then in here we'll actually, maybe we should do this in the file. That's probably a good idea, because then we're going to allocate it all. So we'll just do it right here. Okay. Whoops, here's what I did. There we go. Okay, so now we have the length set. We want the current character, just like we did in here. I can't remember. Um, so length, and yeah, we want to create the buffer. Buffer. What do we want to set that to? Zero. Zero to start. And then let's see. Buffer, buffer, buffer. Uh, and then we want to set, yeah, set the buffer with the one. Yeah. We want size of care times one. Okay. And then what do we set next? F read, alright. So we want to add the air handle. So I'll do that after. Ah, uh, shoot. Where are we at? Okay. Whoops. Messed that all up. Alright, let me just yank that. And 
do it in here. Okay. So we're reading it now into the buffer. And all right, we want to close it after that. Close file. And then set the last character of the buffer to that. That makes sense. Okay, uh, our Wi-Fi went out again. Not, oh shoot, is it still not going? Okay, Wi-Fi went out again. Um, let's get back into it. I'm not sure exactly where it went out, but so yeah, current, current index is not equal to that. And there we go, and then. We can do okay. We don't need something there. So let's see. Now we don't have to pass the file here to either of them. And go up here, get rid of file. And then instead of this, we'll do index plus one. So we want to pass that. We want to pass a pointer. we want to return that as well. I'm gonna modify. Um Okay. Let's see. Um, so now we're passing the current index. Is that all that we need to do? Hopefully, we'll try it out. Current index plus, and we'll pass it here instead of there. Alright, not gonna work on the first try. Okay. Couple warnings. Let's bring this up a little. A lot of warnings. Okay. Um. <coughs> oh yes, we're going to change that in here because we want current current index. Current index. Current index. I can't just replace all instances of this because we need some of it. Let's see where we're at now. That is unused test keyword. Okay. Gotta take this as a pointer. Same thing here. Just fixing things up. That does not work because we gotta do that. Okay. We don't have any more errors. So that's not gonna work also. Um current. Equal the in the file. Gotta do the same thing here.
Okay. Green down here as well. Oops, I forgot to. There we go. Now, okay. So we're printing it. I'm not sure where we're printing it at though. Where we? Oh, running the wrong file. Okay, it breaks. That's okay. E. Let's see. It breaks at E, so. Where exactly does it break? I could use a debugger or I could just use print statements. Uh, so we never get to any of these. So. It's probably in this one because this is actually printf made it here. And it should make it there. Yes, so it is in this function where it goes. So let's see. So we're doing that. I think that should be fine. This is a problem. In there. Okay. All right. Then we have the same problem here. Current index. Gotta do reference here. Okay. Almost worked, almost worked. Let's go back in here. Okay. Type exit. All right, we don't need to print every character anymore. Okay, token value one. Okay, yes, not everything is working. In these specifically setting, setting it is not working properly. So let's debug. But it runs through every time, right? Like it's not. Let's see. And at the end, we'll print that, and that will let us see 